Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series. Turn to Jace. Turn to Soulfire Grandmaster. Okay, so we're definitely dealing with two Jeskai decks, whether they're dark or not. Tough choice. And fiery impulse on the Soulfire Grandmaster. Okay, so Dark Jeskai on this side. For Murderous Cut on Jace. And Dragon Master Outcast. I haven't ever really seen this guy make a game. But then again, most players who have the option don't take the chance that he will. I mean, right now... Okay, so he just played a land, he's got four. If he plays a land for the next two turns, on turn seven... He'll get a dragon that doesn't have haste. So, until that point, this guy is effectively just a 1 1. But he's a 1 1 with a giant bullseye on his forehead that says, Shoot me here. Mantis Rider. So he's lost two Jaces already. Narset! Don't see her very often. Another Mantis Rider. Plays it to get rid of one of the Mantis Riders. Narset's still gonna die. But it does take a pretty big chunk out of his momentum, because the little Mantis Rider is really good. Crackling Doom. Ah, so that he can kill Narset. It's like, why would you Crackling Doom to kill a 1-1? One, one? So that the two damage can be transferred to the Planeswalker. <laughs> and another Crackling Doom! Crackling Doom's for everyone! So we're basically at the exact same place. It's just that the Dark Jeskai deck has more cards. Though it looks like the other guy is also playing Dark Jeskai, so it's a Dark Jeskai Mirror. So the Mantis Rider won. He has less cards, and that's pretty much the only difference at the moment. And Soulfire Grandmaster. And she gets Ojatike. Ojatike commanded. Countered, brings back Jace. Mana. For another 
crackling doom. One, two, three. Okay. He's used three crackling dooms. Tassiger. And Dragon Master Outcast, which still isn't active. But the only way for him to deal with it was Ojutai's command, so why not? Counter it, get Jace back. And activate Jace. Response. Harbinger of Tides. Here's the battlefield. You may return target tapped creature. Ha 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 Oh, wow. I've never actually seen anybody play this card. And to see somebody play it at that perfect moment, that is really funny. Fiery Impulse on the Merfolk. Tasser goes in for four. And Soulfire Grandmaster. And murderous cut to get rid of Jace. So they're both top decking now. Activating Tassiger, because why not? It's the only thing he can do. And he'll most likely give him a land. Yeah, why would you be the Phantom Shredder? Hmm. He wins the game. Maybe he just didn't want to draw it out and just get to game two. I don't know. The way I read Tassiger is you get to put any card from their graveyard into their hand. Sorry, I just had to go and look up Tassiger because I didn't get to read the whole thing. Sorry, I missed the non-land part. Turn Mantis Rider. Very good on curve. Good aggression. And Seeker of the Way. Now, theoretically, if you can keep prowessing him, he can counter what the Mantis Rider does. Oh, double Mantis Rider. This is getting messy in a hurry. And he just concedes. I'll just chalk it up to him not having what he needed in his hand to do anything. Oh well. 
the the first game was actually pretty interesting the second game was an incredible letdown but uh there you go guys uh that was a dark jeskai mirror and uh if you liked what you saw 